everybody. How are you doing? <coughs> so, we're back from our holidays. Well, we were back last week. So for a week now since we've been back. Hang on a minute, I've lost my pen. I need my pen. And the reason I need my pen is because when during the stream, I'm always fiddling with it. I don't know why, just one of those things. <laughs> anyway, um, welcome back to another day of Fishy Bingo. Um, tonight we've got uh, four games of bingo and we've got a quiz as well. So we're talking roughly about two hours. And, uh, but uh, I've got some uh, really, really something. I only realised a couple of well, about five, ten minutes ago. And um, I've only re well, I've told Jeff already. I've said, Jeff says you've got a. Um, if you need a P, you go get one now because you're going to need it later. Because what I've got to tell you, this is this is hilarious. And it's only today I've realised I've been back a week. But uh, anyway, okay. So let's get to chat. Um, who have we got in there? We've got uh, Plushy Aquatics. Um, welcome. We've got Jeff. Um, we're scrolling down. Stephen P's in. Welcome, Stephen. June, only Oscars. Um, we've got Mandy. And uh, oh, hello, Boots and Skipper's in. So yeah, so we're just we're filling up nicely. But um, if you uh, wanted to play bingo, then the link is at the top. And then hopefully everything is straightforward tonight. Um, no cock up, so whatever but uh, I don't know it's me doing the stream so anything could happen so we've got eight of you um, got bingo cards already which is good uh, the maximum's 20 so you need to get in there otherwise um, you, won't, you won't be playing the first game but uh, yeah so I've um, Come up into the uh, studio. I was up here earlier, and um, I came up here about what about an hour ago. And um, I have a tablet at the side of me which controls a lot of the bingo. Um, saves me messing around with the mouse. I can just touch a button. And um, what I hadn't realised was I've, we've had um, new broadband installed, um, uh, so the Wi-Fi has changed slightly. But the tablet wouldn't connect to the Wi-Fi, so it wouldn't talk to my PC. So I was panicking a little bit, but that's all sorted now, thankfully. Um, there was a bit of a panic on, but that's all gone. The sweat's gone. No, that reminds me. Turn my heater off. So, yeah, so we've got two games of bingo. We've got the fish bingo. Some of the fishies have been named, renamed, um, put some new ones in. And we've got the classic bingo. It's me calling them tonight um, or morning, wherever you are. Um, Tommy's not doing it this week. <laughs> well, he's not. He, he just does the one on the Saturday. Um, so, Mandy, Rachel, my phone wants your name to be travel so badly. Had to correct it four times. <laughs> okay. Uh, so. Yeah, so that's sorted. Um, I had a little issue with the camera. That one wasn't working, um, but everything seems okay. And I hope you can hear me because no one's responding to me. You know, I hope we're live as well. <laughs> I'm probably sat here talking to myself. Waiting for confirmation on this. Oh, thank you. Relief on that one. <laughs> I thought for a second I was talking to myself. We're here, thankfully. I'm here. <laughs> uh, so, if anybody um, is wanting to join me on Here Fishy Fishy at the weekend, then um, you're very welcome. At the moment, uh, I haven't uh, pushed 
you know, haven't sort of like contacted anybody to see if they are willing to come up with me, but uh, yeah. So, Stephen seems to have disappeared. He's probably gone on to, there's another live stream on as well. Um, so I think some of you are going to be flip, flipping backwards and forwards, but uh, not to worry. So we've now got 10 in. Um, don't forget that, um, oh no, Stephen, we're just talking about, hello, John. We haven't seen you here for a while. So how are you keeping? Howdy fish friends, what's occurring here then? We are playing bingo. Two games of bingo, then we've got a mini quiz, and then another two games of bingo, and then we might consider bed. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, or if I disappear, I'm, I'm just gone for a pee, that's all. <laughs> yeah, I don't know, since I've, since I've come back, I've uh, been backwards and forwards. It's all that uh, Turkish water, I think. <laughs> mm. Yeah, so we've uh, John. If you want to play the, um, the the bingo, you, you need to click on the link at the top. It's pinned. Um, there'd be a different link for each game, except the last two, and those are copies of the first ones. So while we're in Turkey, I um, they had a bit of entertainment on, and, and there was one night where they want entertainment. Um, so I was trying to um, get the hotel to, I kept inquiring with the hotel, have you, have you got a bingo machine? Bingo, bingo, what bingo? And uh, in the end, it just couldn't do it. But uh, yeah, it, was, it would have been fun, but uh, me calling out all the bingo numbers, but uh, offering no prizes except for uh, a free bottle of lager. <laughs> so, uh, so we've got 10 players. I don't know how many people are in chat because I can't see. I lost my mouse. Mouse ain't working. There we are. Oh, what we got? It's bingo. That's not telling me. No. Um, 12 viewers. Found it. So we've got 12 viewers and uh, we've got 10 players. And who have we got? In there. Activity. None. Ah, I was just thinking, um, we'll have to wait for Graham. But, uh, Graham's turned up. Hi Graham, how are you doing my friend? So, this bingo stuff is addictive, it sure is. I think if it gets any better, uh, Graham, I'm going to have to uh, fork out for the uh, additional. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So we'll start the uh, first bingo session in roughly about five minutes. We'll get up, we'll make a move, get on. But, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to tomorrow because... Um, We've ordered some Yukoi, and uh, so we've got some uh, those are coming tomorrow, and um, they'll be going into uh, they're going into my four foot um, tank. <sighs> I forgot the name, but the uh, quarantine tank. That's what it is, and so they're going in the quarantine tank. And they're going to stay there for a few weeks. So just waiting until it does warm up a little bit. And then um, we'll introduce them to the bond. So I'm looking forward to them arriving tomorrow. See what we've got. We don't know what we've got coming. But uh, we will see. So Boots Cat, this is my first time playing. Is it different from standard bingo? Um, it's, yeah, well... The first game of bingo is called Fishy Bingo, and instead of numbers, we've got fish names. Um, the second game will be just a standard bingo. Um, we do have 
we do play to a full house um, if you get a line it, you don't have to worry about calling because it's all based on um, scores at the end anyway um, then we've got a quiz and then we will have the two games of bingo again and the winner goes on to the scores now let me just close that for the moment just come up here and if I I don't know if this is going to work. Oh, it does. Slightly. The colours are all mixed up for some reason. But out of um, respect for Myrtle, who sadly passed away, he will always be the winner. So he's been given an extra million points. So he will always be at the top of the leaderboard. He did have 435 points. We got Mandy, the Zen Ginger, 1,500. And my mouse isn't working. Oh, go. There it is. Right, so we got Mandy, the Zen Ginger, 1,532. Followed by Debs on 1,091. We got Gina, 1,071. Arnold, 625. Donna the Fish Lady 625, Brian Hague 532, and you can see the rest, can't you? Yeah, Myrtle, he uh, did like the bingo. Um, so, out of respect, obviously, he will be always the leader uh, on the scoreboard. Okay, so two minutes to go and we will start the first game of bingo. I'm on the wrong screen. You can see the right screen, but I can't. Where have you gone? So now it's going to be easier. <laughs> so we can still call out bingos when we've been waiting a long time. Or maybe that's just me. Right, I can see everything that's going on. And so I will stop the game when someone's got a uh, full house. Hiya Debs, how are you doing? So yeah, I can just hear Myrtle gloating about winning everything. Yep, we can. So I've got 13 players. So if you haven't got bingo card, just click the link to the top. I'll put us on the right screen for this game and um, we'll see who uh, is going to be the winner I'm glad we take second place then but I'm watching the rest of you <laughs> so 13 players and we are at quarter past so we are going to start that. Right, so I'm a bit smaller now. I've just got to switch over back to another window and I'll kick this one off. So the countdown has started. For those number, it's Mecca Bingo is a chain of bingo halls in the UK, famous for smelling of Mary of the Valley. Okay. Right, just waiting for the first number. Well, the first fish name anyway. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Musk turtle. And why are you not got that bit? Is it missing? Crayfish. Oh, 
There we are. A couple of weeks since I've done it. Neon Tetra. Tuna. Stingray. Bass. So yeah, what I said earlier was that the camera's a bit high. I moved it earlier. I'll just move that right down a little bit. There we are. And short ass. Uh, Feel proper invalid with lens. Oh, don't worry about it. Right, there we are. Marlin. Not Merlin, Marlin. <laughs> Lionfish. No, 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 no. Stop it. Shell dweller. Seahorse. Toadfish. White cloud minnow. Hi Mal. Pencil fish. Platy. Clownfish. Flying fox. Oh, that's where we now you'll you probably catch up later. Just click all the buttons, but uh, the ones that have already been called, you'll miss out on the points on those. Blue Acara. Copy. 
Lūdžu. Class fish. Chimp. Crab. Rummy nose. Starfish. Tang. How much fish is that, Skipper? From Tosa. Rainbow fish. Right, Skipper, I won't call it out because somebody will click on it. Cod. Barracuda. Fish. Hi, Susan. Eel. Butterfly fish, Skipper's favourite fish. Jellyfish, had a few en encounter with one of them last week. Discus <coughs> Cardinal Tetra Shark Octopus Tilapia. I'm beginning to wonder if Graham's uh, either got no numbers coming up or he's been uh, summoned away. Oh no, he's still with us. 
stir it. I think he has been away. He's clicking buttons. Hatchet fish. Squid. Better. Crevensis. No, we can see you, Skipper. Angelfish. Holy. They are skipper. Pike. Flower horn. Bitterling. Mystery snail. Sickly. Axolotl Stickleback Fish Sword Tail Grammy Zebra Daniel Goldfish Bab
rabbit fish. Lobster. Sunfish. Rud. Game paused. So, have we got a winner? Have we got three winners? No, we've got two winners. Sorry, Mandy, but yeah. So, there's a few of you that um, seem to be struggling. Susan. Um, was struggling. Graham was struggling a little bit, but uh, I missed what third place was. But uh, anyway, Skipper and uh, Teachy came first. Um, TG just beat him with the uh, 476 points. I need to write this down. Oh, there we go. It's rigged. Yeah, we get that every week. It's rigged, rigged, rigged. I lost my pen. There we are. So well done everybody. And well done Susan. You came in late but you still um, did quite well. Unfortunately your scores are low because uh, you were obviously pressing buttons and after a certain time you'll lose points on that. Hi Melvin, how are you doing? My first bingo didn't make a sound. Possibly because I've turned it off. Did your second one make a sound? I know I've turned off the um, bits where it, the bingo, when it's being called, it um, doesn't flash up on the screen for everybody. Right, so TG was 476 and skip that. Four six four. Right, so where are we with this? Let's lose that. And go back to the main scene, which is good. Okay, so I said at the beginning I was um, yeah, you did well, Mel. So anyway, I said at the beginning that um, I would let you into some really, really funny. And I only realised about 10 minutes before the, uh, the bingo session started. And the only reason that I've noticed this is because today I've uh, shaved my head for the first time. Now, when we've been in Turkey, <laughs> we've been on the sunbeds, we've been enjoying the sun, the sun's coming down, everything. And we've certainly enjoyed it. But, the back of my head, I don't get no sun. <laughs> I just realised it. Look, I've got the back of my head is white, and the front is uh, nicely tanned. So yeah, I'm with, I must remember to lay down in future on my front and uh, take some sun in from the other direction. <laughs> oh dear, I can't believe that. But, uh, the back of my head's white. <laughs> Crab stick, yeah, that's me. <laughs> you didn't think of us, did you, Andrew? Yeah, of course I did. I don't know I'm laying there. Enjoying that sun, drinking the Turkish beer, 
the Turkish spirits, the red wine. I'm waking up the next day and knowing all about it. But then we start again, don't we? So, okay, let's get on with it. Um, I will put the link up for the second one. Let's come in there. Just got to find it. Where's it gone? So this one is for classic bingo. Yeah, I found it a bit too strong for me though. And they had in the room we had the, the um, we had the Turkish coffee. You no, know, what do I do with it? Because we have some here. So we get the Turkish coffee. But they also give us these little sachets, I don't know if you can see them. And that's the milk, the milk powder. And it, I presume... No, no, that's proper milk. I don't know what... <laughs> I, don't, I honestly don't know what I've done with that. But anyway, you get the sachets with this milk powder in. And... Because the coffee's strong, it... Um, one sachet, it just isn't enough. So in the end, I gave up drinking it. I'm trying to pin this, will you stop chatting? <laughs> there, got it. Right, so we've got... So seven of you are waiting to play. So after this one, we'll have a mini quiz and then we'll do another two games of bingo. But good luck to uh, TG. Now, um, I'm going to have to remind me, who is TG? I can't just put TG down, can I? Yeah, it's a little bit like Coffee Mate, yeah, but um, Coffee Mate seems to do a little bit better. Andrew needs to go to spec servers, he's missing my jokes. Brian, I haven't even seen your jokes, where are you? Sitting on a sticky sunbed eating a pot pie. I'm sure we can make a song about that. <laughs> yeah, there's no pot pies over there. I did look. <laughs> Two sugars. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Brian. We have Turkish buffet. Yes. Hello, Melvin. Melvin's in. I'm still trying waiting. To work out who TG is. So I've got 10 players uh, in. We've got Jeff Kane in now. So if you haven't um, selected your uh, bingo card, then click the link at the top of the uh, chat. Where are we on this one? There we are, the link's on the screen as well. I just want to know what happens after a Turkish bath when she giggled. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately we could we weren't able to show that way. He was sitting in the sunbed by the corner of the pool, hoping a little pot pie would pass by. Oh me, oh my, a little pot pie passed by. Some tummy in the lamp post by George Formby. <laughs> so we've got 20.41, we'll just give it four minutes and then um, I'll make a start. Put 13 of you in. I like to keep it simple though. Good morning, Craig. Just in time if you want to play. I'll link to the top of the uh, chat.
Well, this next game is um, just regular bingo. And then we'll be having a quiz. I haven't Debs, but uh, I saw what you saw this morning. Debbie, I did send you an email, not an email, a, a messenger this morning, um, or it might be this afternoon actually, um, about another YouTuber. It says he hasn't read it yet, but uh, I was just wondering, that's all. <coughs> so yeah, we've got 14 waiting to play. Two minutes and we'll uh, make a start. Yeah, no worries, Debs. That's just, I was just wondering, that's all. But uh, I can wait till you switch back on. The next game is regular bingo. And then we'll be having a little mini quiz. Four bingos. Yeah, we've got four bingo games. Two bingos, then a mini quiz, then another two. Well, We've already had one game, so one more game bingo to come. Mini quiz, and then we will have another two. So stick around, folks, because the more points you get, the higher you will get on the, um, the master scoreboard. But um, <coughs> for the moment, we will all be having one winner at the end of the year. Winner's been decided, and that's Myrtle. So he's at the top of the scoreboard. And because uh, Myrtle used to enjoy playing the bingo, and um, out of respect, I've decided that uh, Myrtle will be the overall winner of the bingo for this year. But the more points you get, guys, um, the more games you play, the more likely you are to uh, gain points. You only go on the scoreboard if you are the winner or joint winner. Then your scores are included. Okay, so let's get game two on the go. Waiting for the first number. One and two, number twelve. On its own, number three. <clears throat> three and two, 32. <coughs> if you enjoy bingo, then we uh, usually have a couple of games on a Saturday as well on the Fisher Fisher Show. Okay, six and nine, no comments please. I was gonna say six and nine, doctor's orders.
2 and 6, 26. One and three, thirteen. Two and one, twenty one. All right, John. Six and all, nine sixty. One and six, sweet sixteen. Three and five, thirty five. Three and six, thirty-six. Andrew, where's the window with the card numbers? Or do you not have that on regular bingo? Yes, I do. Sorry, there you are. My apologies. Two and oh, line twenty. Two and seven, twenty-seven. Six and eight, sixty-eight. All the threes, thirty-three. Four and six, forty six. <laughs> Four and two, forty two. Yep, Susan's playing on its own, number five. Five and two, fifty two. Four and one, forty one. <laughs> On its known, number seven. On its own, number four. On its own, number eight. Six and one, sixty-one. I was going to ask you this morning, Craig, how they're getting on. I could hear them banging.
4 and 3, 43. So after this game we'll be playing um, a little mini quiz and um, usual 10 questions and the 10th question will be a what they call it I had this problem the other day a big um, a wager one so 5-0 blind 50 Six and three, sixty-three. One and nine, nineteen. One and eight, eighteen. Yeah, when I saw on camera this morning, Craig, I thought, hmm, that's a woman to stay out of the way of. Three and seven, 37. I can imagine. Two and five, twenty five. On its own, number nine. Seven and four, seventy four. Five and six, fifty six. <clears throat> on its own, number one. Three and all, line thirty. One and four, fourteen. Six and five, sixty five. One and five, fifteen. All the fives, fifty five. Four and seven, forty seven. Five and one. Fifty one. Four nine forty nine. Two and nine, twenty nine.
6 and 4, 64. Two little ducks, 22. All the fours, 44. Seven and two, seventy two. On its own, number six. Four and eight, forty eight. Three and eight, thirty eight. Seven and five, seventy five. Seven zero, line seventy. Seven and one, seventy one. Two and three, twenty three. I think Susan's doing fine. Six and two, sixty two. On its own, one little duck, number two. Prime Minister's Den, number 10. Five and eight, 58. Five and nine, Fifty nine, three and one, thirty one, Four and five, forty five. Three and four, thirty four. Seven and three. Seventy three, two 
28. One and seven, seventeen. Three and nine, thirty nine. Five and seven, fifty seven. All the sixes, sixty six. Five and four, fifty four. Two and four, twenty four. Game paused. And I don't know where that winner came from, because uh, I wasn't even monitoring her. Yeah, it's a her. It's a young lady. I can only fix things in the five minutes before I'm due to stream. <laughs> I need an IT expert to sort out this freaking PC. I'm not asking Graham though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we've got one winner. Congratulations to everybody else. So your winners are Zenny in third place on 405. In second place was the Fish Lady on 419. And Kathy was the winner on 438. So well done, Kathy. Unfortunately, Fish Lady, you were very, very close. You were uh, in the lead for such a long time, but Kathy just nipped you. Jeff, you need to sort your wife out. My wife wants to win. Fuck <laughs> it. And we hop down. Bring up the next experience. So this is for the quiz, and we'll be starting that about quarter past. And it goes for yep. Yeah. And There you are. Well, yeah, well done, Kathy, because I don't know where you came from, because I, I didn't even see you as uh, with a possibility of winning. Is it a quiz now? And as Juggler gone, it's, it's my time to shine. <laughs> yeah, I haven't seen Juggler for a little while. Oh, now the PC has decided it does not have a shared graphics card. What do you think about a trip up to Northumberland, Graham? You could always um, go on you, you know, when you're going up north, over the border. And Kathy's put fun, fun, fun. Right, so I said earlier we got ten questions. Um, these multi-choice questions, 
and the tenth question will be a wager one where you can wager all your points 50 points or no points on winning the or getting that the question 10 correct wait isn't this only game three or is it just a title no 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 it's just a title no every week the bingo quiz will it'll, next week it'll be bingo quiz five the following week six so don't get confused with that maybe i should put There you are, that should help. <laughs> uh, so we've got 11 people waiting to play. Please. Question 10 is always the uh, one that uh, could catch people out. It's whether, it's whether you are willing to take that risk so on the 10th question you'll be able to wager 100 percent of your points 50 percent or you can stay as you are i put the link up it's at the top of the screen jeff i pinned it Now I've got 14, 15 players. And uh, we'll see what happens. Some are easy, some are a little bit difficult. Maybe it's uh, with. What do you mean, bingo? What's, this is the quiz, Jeff. Two more bingos again afterwards. Seventeen of you are playing. Oh, juggles here. On question ten, if you don't wager it all, then you're a southern softy. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry, Graham, but uh, juggles here. Eighteen players. No, we didn't determine who TG was. Nah. You're all southern softies to me. <laughs> Hi, Tommy. How are you doing, my friend? I've just got two spaces left, so if you haven't got uh, your card already, the link's at the top of the screen. Oh, well, it's on the top of chat anyway. left if we get to 20 then uh, I'll open it up we'll just start it sorry Andrew my eyes well you need new glasses Jeff Just reading back a bit, Graham says, Have you tried turning it off and back on again? Solves 99% of IT issues. And Brian comes back and says, It is off. I can't turn it on. And Graham says, have you checked the plug? Yeah, the plug's fine. It's here. It's in my hand. We've had them all, haven't we, Graham? 
I once had, um, when I was working in IT, I once got called to a PC and um, they said to me, my mouse isn't working. What do you mean your mouse isn't working? So fortunately, there's only a couple of offices down the corridor, so I went down the corridor and uh, what a PC, fair enough, the mouse isn't working. But for some reason, it also wasn't plugged in. So, but simple things, and we've all had them. I do, and to pay for them. <laughs> okay, I'm going to make a move. Let's get on with this quiz. So I'm going to start the countdown. The quiz is there. I don't know what I've done, but uh, there we are. Starts in 20 seconds. Right, okay, I'm just checking that wasn't frozen there. Question one. Which character did Sybil Shepherd play in Moonlighting? Was it Madeline Hayes, Samantha Weathers, Debbie Freeman, or Sybil Sheridan? Which character did Sybil Shepherd play in Moonlighting? Okay. Got all the uh, answers in. The correct answer was Madeline Hayes. Eight of you got that correct. So the two answers for Samantha Weathers or Weathers, one answer for Debbie Freeman, and six answers for Sybil Sheridan. She did actually play all those names, but it's called characters. But um, it was only moon, it was moonlighting, it was Madeline Hayes. Oh dear! First, when I first started in IT, I was called to a broken coffee holder. <laughs> Turned out to be the CD drive. Hmm. Uh, let's see who we've got. So we've got only Oscars on that one, 80 points, followed by Graham on 72 and Trip on 71. So, question two. Cytology is the title of the 32nd chapter of what lengthy American novel? Was it Jaws, Moby Dick, Underworld or Outlander? Okay, and the correct answer was Moby Dick. And 12 of you got that one correct. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Graham. Some of the questions can be easy. Okay, so one of you chose Jaws, three of you chose Underworld, and one chose Outlander. And the rankings are Holly Oscars on 157, Trip on 140, and Stephen P on 115. So, where are we did it, Fish Lady. Yeah, well done, Fish Lady. Okay, question. What do you mean you're first? Only well, Oscars is first, not you, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> Question three. Are you a trip then, juggler? Question three. What is petrophilium, also known as discus, a gas station, angelfish, Agarami. Oh, 
Well, I'm glad to see that nobody chose gas station. The correct answer was angelfish. No. Uh, okay, so four of you chose discus. Ten of you chose angelfish and two chose gourami. Terrifyingly, is that wrong? I don't know. These Latin words, they uh, terrifying them probably sounds, but I was turning it to sort of like petrophilum so that somebody might go for gas station, but it failed. <coughs> okay, so there we are. That was the correct answer. Done that one. So the rankings were juggler. Is now 196, Stephen P 189, and the quiz master on 158. So where's the fish lady? 139. The seventh. Okay. I sing into YouTube, it says try crow. Okay. Right. Question four. Which fish with an equine name can move its dorsal fin back and forth as quickly as 35 times per second? Was it trout charger, sea stallion, tide trotter or sea horse? Right, okay, so the correct answer was seahorse. Now if Jeff got that wrong, I'm going to be really gutted. But what I can't believe is um, the other three are horse race names. So Trout Charger was wrong. But three of you went for that one. <laughs> okay, let's see the rankings. I would have pressed B. <laughs> Stephen P, 249, Juggler 243, Quizmaster Pro on 230. And I missed where the fish lady was, but I think she's gone up a little bit. Yeah, she's moved up on number on six place, 204. Question five. I saw C on C stallion and almost clicked that. Right. <laughs> Zen Sam just played for me. Question five. Japanese spider crabs can grow as large as 3.7 millimeter, 3.7 centimeters, 3.7 meters, or 5.7 meters. Got a mix of choices on this one. I'm Sagittarian, half man, half horse. I'm a stallion, baby. My chat up line says Brian. I'd watch him, Susan. <coughs> and the correct answer was 3.7 meters. So that's. Um, seven answers on 3.7 centimeters and two ounces two answers on 5.7 meters but the correct answer is roughly about 3.7 meters well, don't talk to me about red wine I had plenty of that when um, I was on holiday okay let's see where the scores are We've got Quizmaster Pro on 307, Stephen P and Juggler got it wrong, so they stay on the same points. So where's the fish lady? Fish lady's in ninth. And okay. She got that one wrong. <coughs> Hmm. 
Question six. The oceanographer Jacques Cousteau was born in which country? France, Sweden, Italy or Denmark? We all seem to be uh, going for the same answer. The correct answer was France. So we had one answer on Sweden and one on Denmark and the rest of you chose France. This sense, this feels like a trap question. I don't know. <laughs> right. Quizmaster Pro on 390, Juggler 330, and Stephen P on 326. And the fish ladies drop down to 12. Well, they're still. We'll still win. Okay, so let's move on. Question seven. Plankton is a name for what? A stupid person, a cocktail, a pile of heavy wood or a wooden bridge? Everybody was looking for the um, the floating organism in the sea, but uh, you know it was something totally different. Got you out on that one. And the correct answer was a cocktail. So three votes went for a stupid person. Two for a pile of heavy wood and three a wooden bridge. I'm drinking a cocktail called that. <laughs> oh dear. So there we are. 50% got cocktail and then the rest of it was uh, varied. And the rankings are, I haven't seen yet, so I see when you see. Oops, I got it right. Scottish, I drinks a bit. <laughs> Quizmaster Pro didn't get that. Graham didn't get that one. Wow. Only Oscar's got it. And Juggler got it. And the Fish Lady as well. Well done. So I think that's just uh, juggled you all up a little bit. Plankton Bridge sounded plausible, so I went with it. <laughs> okay, guys, question eight. Horsey horses belong to what genus? Horsey camp, hippocampus, nabus, or hippopus? Horsey horses belong to what genus? Correct answer was hippocampus. So 14 answers on that one, and two of you went for hippopus. Hippopus was made up, nabus was made up, and horsey camp as well. All made up answers. So let's see where we are on the rankings. Quizmaster Pro, 472, only Oscars, 466, 
and juggler 437. And the fish lady moved up again. Well done. Okay. Hi, Mike. Got it quicker to 88 points. I think that's my most for one question. And Stephen still beat me. Uh, question nine. In which US children's program did a polar bear named Captain Barnacles appear? Was it Dino Ranch, Sesame Street, Octonauts, or Bubble Guppies? In which US children's program did a polar bear named Captain Barnacles appear? <laughs> Correct answer it was Octonauts. Eight of you got that correct. Six went for Sesame Street, one went for Dino Ranch, and one went for Bubble Guppies. So we've got uh, Quizmaster Pro with 553 points, Stephen P on 490, all the Oscars have stayed the same, and Fish Lady unfortunately didn't get that one either, or oh, Brian. I was looking for Captain Pugwash. Well, the question that uh, I picked up said it was a US show. Now, I haven't watched them. Obviously, I've got a daughter, but uh, she was into... Uh, oh, what was she into? But uh, it certainly wasn't... Uh, Octonauts. But anyway, not to worry. So your next question is the wager question. And this is where you can bid all your points. You can bid 50% of your points. Or none of your points. I'm getting answer 10 correct. Okay, place your wages. The TV series Man from Atlantis was first aired in which year? Was it 1976, 1977, 1978 or 1981? TV series Man from Atlantis was first aired in which year? So I'm confident in you lot. <coughs> because we're very, very much split on this one. Graham went for his year of birth. Juggle says 77. I went with Bobby size. Anyway, the correct answer was 1977. So 
So five of these went for 1977, another five went for 1976, four of you went for 1978, and two of you went for 1981. So, who's going to uh, win? It's going to be between Graham and Juggler. And the winner is... Fish Lady in third place. Well done. Stephen P in second place. And Graham is in first place with 1,106. Juggle lost everything. I didn't put 77. Uh oh. I can't believe that. So, TG was 502, Chip was 500, Debs was 299. So, That was a bit of a shocker at the end, but Graham wins on 1,106. Well done, Graham. I'll let you choose the questions for next week. <laughs> Who's saying I did terrible? Brian Egg, I should know I was born in 71. Kathy, thanks, Andrew. Fun. Now I got to get to work on taxes. <laughs> so we're leaving uh, Jeff with me to uh, another couple of games of bingo. My cat beat me. Graham chooses beers from around the world, lol. <laughs> mm. Okay, so. That one. Reset it. Okay, your link for the next game of bingo. Yeah, so well done on that one, Graham. Three of you already playing bingo, the fizzy bingo. Not today, bring the builders a right hook, a few more bangs will tell. <laughs> Sounds like you've got a problem with those builders. Yeah, no worries, Graham. You take care, and uh, we'll see you on your Friday stream. So, everybody, um, if you want to do the next quiz that's on the internet, log into um, Graham's channel on YouTube. Uh, Nine o'clock on Friday, UK time, where he has his own quiz. Thank you. It's not as good as mine, but. Um, it's playable. <laughs> okay, we've got 12 of you now um, waiting for Fishy Bingo. We'll leave it for a couple of minutes and then we'll get started. Yeah, but look at it this way, Craig. At least it'll be ready for um, when winter's here. Although I ain't got a clue what you had done. 
I know you've had a lot of building work done, but uh, just get whatever space you've got from that building work, just fill it with more fish tanks. And I cannot see this. I'm going to move it. I should have done this in the first place. That there, put that there. We're still playing. Oh, that fishy bingo plays soon. Uh, might as well leave it on that for the moment. Can you change an answer? Oh man, you've only just moved in there, Craig. I thought I heard something not so long back about them selling it. I was not sure if I'd heard right. Oh, I'm gutted for you, mate. Really am. Right, so we've got 15 waiting to play bingo. I'm going to go change that one. Let's get this started. Start the countdown. First numbers coming up. No, it's not numbers, it's names. Discus. Okay, I was playing the wrong game, but you guys are playing the right game. Pike. Stickleback. Molly. Mystery snail. Pea puffer. Yeah, I gotta be honest, Craig, it was a beautiful house, um, especially outside of the river. Well, I should have told you before they let you move in, it was going to be short term. Eel. Axolotl. How long have you been in there now, Craig? Marlin. Eight months. So was, was it down as a 12 month rental or? Toadfish. Six. Tuna. Just 
It's a shame you can't paint yourself, Craig. Lobster. Neon Tetra. Yeah, I thought you was renting it, but because you're having the building work done, I actually thought maybe you'd you'd bought it and you're having the building work done yourself. But it's uh, a bit out of hand that they're having the building work done while you're still living in there. Shrimp. Bitterling. You got twice that, uh, Craig. Bristle nose. All them fish you're selling. And then all them, uh, not jewels, crystals and things. Jellyfish. Fences. <laughs> Poor Susan. Rummy nose. Glass fish. Clownfish. Better. Grass. A fish. From Tosa. Lodge. Snakehead. <laughs> Seahorse. Jeff's favourite one. Barracuda Squid Hmm 
lionfish. <laughs> Musk turtle. Dutchen. He's not going to help you, Craig. He's just, uh, he's just going to sit in his basket and, uh, oh, oh, what's happening? Platy. I'm sure I missed good gin, I can't remember. Stingray. I always preferred Thunderbirds. Sunfish. Perch. So Brian's accusing Zen of cheating. Elephant fish. Guppy. Garami Bass Hatchet fish. Gobby. Goldfish. <laughs> Crayfish. So who's the big bass then, Brian? Zebradanio. Hi Steve. How you doing? And stick around, you can uh, play the next game. Flagfish. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> that jewelry player. Well done, boots. Octopus. Rainbow fish. What your window shopping, Steve or Julie? Sta 
crawfish. Rabbit fish. Tang. Jellyfish. Shark. When I was in Turkey, I thought I'd keep it quiet from uh, Donna that there's uh, sharks. Angelfish. Mind you, I don't know which is worse, the sharks or the jellyfish. Mackerel. Tilapia. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, Steve. Flying Fox. Blue Akara. White Cloud Minnow. I can't believe Senny is so far up the scoreboard. Butterfly fish. Koi. Cardinal Tetra Cod Cod and Chips Sawtail Arowana Shell Dweller Crab Game Post Sorry Tommy, but yeah, we've got um, multiple winners again tonight.
And Stephen, you were so close. Really were so close, but watch where the numbers were. Well, the fish names weren't uh, your way tonight. I think you need to have a few more fishing rods. Okay. So, who are our winners? The winners are in third place was Stephen P. In joint first place, we had the fish lady and plushie. Well done, everybody. Well done, Donna. Two points in it. So Plushy just gets two points extra. <coughs> right, so what have we got? Someone won with crabs. Okay. Let's get rid of uh, that. We'll go to full screen. There we are. So we just got one more game of bingo to play, guys. And then we will call it and night, we're uh, up to the two hour mark already. Who me? Nah, maybe June. <laughs> right, so I need, I've moved things around on these screens, so. My experience is classic bingo. That sounds about right. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. set okay can we play darts yeah you missed we did play darts not so long but Steve you missed that one we had a, a couple of questions on darts okay that should be yep that's the uh, Link. Yeah, Brian likes darts. So eight of you are straight in that nine players. Ten players. So on Saturday on here, Fishy Fishy, um, if anybody wants to join me, then uh, do get in touch and uh, we'll put you on um, on the panel. But uh, very, very shortly, it is going to be changing. Um, I'm hoping to move away from uh, StreamYard and uh, move over to software that's based on my PC but in the meantime, meantime I can still use um, StreamYard and uh, allow you guys to come up so Brian's gone to the bathroom skipper what time on Saturday it'll be 7 p.m. UK time and it's Basically, um, quiz, and then we will have a couple of games of bingo, and then we'll have another mini quiz, which is net 10, where you uh, try to answer 10 questions correctly. Each question is 10 seconds long. If you answer all 10 questions, then Basically, you'll, you'll win uh, a prize, which you usually in aquarium daily mug. You get any question wrong, then you are out of the game. You can no longer take part. And last Saturday, we got as far as two. And uh, I did a, a quick reset and we... Uh, and 
uh, we had another game. So Skipper, um, Jeff Pallum, oh Jeff, he's wanting you on the treble A. We need you. I can do that, Jeff. That's good. Right, so 14 of you um, are waiting. You've all got your cards. Why is something not quite right here? Ah. Kathy, you're fooling me for some reason, but not to worry. Right, so let's go for that one. <laughs> Uh, unorganized tonight in uh, missing certain screens I mean screens up too long but uh, yeah you missed all that um, at least you've got the background music <laughs> right let's get this started let's get the show on the road we will start the countdown good luck everyone First number coming up. Fifty-four. Five and four, fifty-four. Seven and four, seventy-four. Oh, Brian, I've, I've got the sense, a John Major sense of humour. I probably have, mate, and you've got no chance of breaking me. <laughs> Seven and three, seventy-three. I've only had one beer tonight. It doesn't help. <laughs> One and four, fourteen. <laughs> On its own, number five. Yeah, but didn't John Major have hair? Line thirteen. Four and two, forty two. Three and eight. 38 or 9 25 20. Yeah, chat certainly goes quiet when you're playing bingo. 1 and 2, 1 dozen, 12. Five 
Five and two, fifty two. You're getting bored, Randy. On its own, number four. Six oh nine sixty. Must be getting near my bedtime and yawning. <laughs> One and three, thirteen. Oh, I see, Manda. Six and one, sixty one. Don't forget everybody, it's Daniel's birthday on Saturday. We've all already celebrated a cake for, on last Saturday for him, but he's uh, not with us on here Fishy Fishy this weekend. His mummy's taking him out. On its own, number three. Two and nine, 29. Four and eight, forty-eight. So what if I do that? See what comes up. Six and two, sixty-two. Seven, eight, fifty-eight. I'm sure we've had that number. Three and six, thirty-six. Five and one, fifty one. All the fours, forty four. Four and seven. Forty-seven. Dot orders, sixty-nine. Two and six. Twenty six. No chance, Tommy. One and five, fifteen. You might be one away from uh, bingo, but uh, not the full house. <laughs> On its own, number nine. Tommy, you're at the bottom. You're 15th. 
24, 24. That's all right, Tommy, I make him nervous. <laughs> Three and four, thirty-four. Five and seven, fifty-seven. Seven zero, blind seventy. I got to do something about that tank flickering behind me. On its own, number one. Don't send me an email then, Skipper. Or anybody else that's in chat. Two and seven, twenty-seven. Three and five, thirty-five. Yeah, it's not good, Craig. Six and five, sixty-five. Yeah, the fact it so easily collapsed. Two and one, twenty-one. Six and seven, sixty-seven. One and six, sixteen. Six and four, sixty-four. Three and one, thirty-one. Minister's Den, number 10. All the threes, 33. Three and seven, thirty seven. Four and all, nine forty. On its own, number seven. One and eight, eighteen. On its own, number six. Four 
4 and 3, 4G3. Two and eight, twenty eight. Three and two, thirty two. Seven and two, seventy two. Four and one, forty one. All the sixes, sixty six. Six and eight, sixty eight. Three and nine. Thirty nine on its own, number eight. Four and five, forty five. Five and six, fifty six. On its own, number two. Seven and one, seventy one. Two little ducks, twenty two. Four and six, forty six. Game paused. So, yeah, I mean, obviously Tommy's bragging about it down there. Yes, Tommy was the winner. Unfortunately, I'd, um, well, fortunately for Tommy, he uh, had a good start. Bit crap. Well, actually, the, the start was a bit crap. It was quite way down, and then he just had a run of numbers, and uh, he shot forward, and he's been at number one for quite a while, and... Uh, Scat was um, between Scat and Susan. They were sort of swapping, and uh, in the end, uh, Tommy got it. So well done, Tommy. So I'll stop the game, finish it, and the winners are in third place. We've got Susan on 325. We've got Scat on second place at 391. 
and in first place Tom our Texas Tom on 502 well done so that concludes um, the games for this week don't forget everybody we've got um, some great lineups this week we have Jeff t tomorrow um, with his uh, treble A stream um, I think we've got uh, Skipper's going to be on there with him and on Friday well Thursday we've got Jack JT he's got his live Friday we've then got um, oh, bum, 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 bum. Graham at 9 o'clock with his quiz and I'm sure he's trying to work out how to do the bingo but um, we'll, we'll see <laughs> but yeah tune in to uh, Jeff tomorrow and Graham on Friday and I will be back on Saturday with here fishy fishy and um, I'm just uh, okay, there we are uh, and we'll have you having our usual quiz we'll do a couple of games of bingo then we've got net 10 and we'll have some uh, banter well congratulations uh, to the winners and um, good luck to everybody else next time but I'm sorry to say bingo out <laughs>